If you're a gym owner, you've worked with agencies in the past, marketing agencies typically do a great job in generating leads. However, leads don't mean sales. You'll notice that the second step is we still have to nurture those leads to show up to an appointment, whether it's in person, whether it's over the phone, over Zoom, it doesn't matter. We still have to get them to actually show up. So that's a skill set in and of itself. If you've ever wondered where you should focus your time and attention inside of your business and wondered how do you grow and scale it, I'm going to walk you through exactly how you can figure it out and the five things that you should focus on to grow and scale your business consistently, no matter what level you're at. My name is Kale Lawn. I am the CEO of Gym Launch and Prestige Labs. And over the last six years, we've done over $100 million in revenue. And our entire goal and vision is to help gym owners reach more people, change more lives, and make a whole bunch of money. These five things are what we call the five core business functions within any business. You could talk about other stuff like finance and HR and teams and all that stuff. But when it comes to growing and scaling your business from a customer standpoint and what you're trying to do, these are the five things that you need to do. Number one is we need to generate leads. And so do you have the skill set and the ability to go out and generate leads for your business consistently? Number two is you need to nurture those leads. Many times in business, especially in gyms, I don't know what it is, but as a former gym owner myself and not fully understanding how this concept works, but these core business functions, while they still work together, they're also very separate and they have and require different skill sets. So generating leads is a skill set in and of itself. And if you're a gym owner, you've worked with agencies in the past, marketing agencies typically do a great job in generating leads. However, that doesn't, leads don't mean sales. You'll notice that the second step is we still have to nurture those leads to show up to an appointment, whether it's in person, whether it's over the phone, over Zoom, it doesn't matter. We still have to get them to actually show up. So that's a skill set in and of itself. So Number two is nurture leads. Number three is sales. So I need to sell those people that I nurtured and I paid money for that are actually showing up. I need to actually close them and sell them into my service so that I can collect cash, which is the lifeblood of a business. So how do I sell them? So that's a skill set in and of itself. But once I've sold them, the next piece is how do I fulfill on what I just sold them? Do I have the processes in place that I can scale this and create a repeatable process that gets clients exceptional results across the board and does it consistently? And number five is can I keep them longer? So I'd be attention? And can I resell them into something of higher value? Can I ascend them into something like, let's say, use a gym, for example, I sell someone into large group training, can I keep them? And then can I have the opportunity to ascend them into semi private or private training, right? Or maybe I can sell them products or supplements, right? How can I make them worth more to me over time? And if you think about these and these five core functions, a way to be able to figure out if you have bottlenecks in your business is to rate yourself on a scale of one to five in each one of these five core functions. So on generating leads, scale one to five. Can you consistently generate leads for your business? Where do you rank? Then go to nurturing leads. Do you have good show rates? And can you, do you have a process built around this? And can you consistently get a large amount of your leads to actually show to an appointment? Number three, sales. What's my close rate? Can I consistently close people and collect cash, the amount of cash that I need to be profitable on the front end and long term? Number four, fulfillment. Can I fulfill on what I promised my clients that I just sold? Number five is what's my retention rate? Am I able to ascend clients into higher levels of service. If you rate yourself on there, then take your lowest rating and then focus your time in that area. And then you'll notice that something else will dip and then go focus on that. And it's an interesting cycle as you begin to do this, but ultimately you'll have people that will ultimately own and be responsible for each one of these sections or multiple, but they will report directly to you and you'll be able to continually work on these things. But these are the five things that you must be able to do in order to grow and scale your business. And if you focus on these five, you will grow and scale and reach more people, change more lives and ultimately stack more cash. If you found this at all, valuable. Um, I'd love it if you hit the like and drop the comment down below. But if you want more information like this, we put together a PDF called the seven money models we use to scale gyms to over $100,000 a month like clockwork. It's completely for free. It's down in the description. You can click that link, grab it, download it. And as always hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you on the next video.